edge and burnish some more. Wiping off any excess glue. Okay. And as you can see, the tag fits here nicely. It actually fits here nicely too. All right, those are our two flat pockets. And then you should have another piece for your inside flap here. Now what you can do here is you can add a pocket right here if you want it to. Um, you can use your, your uh, Stampin' Up! Pa uh, punch. You've seen me do that before if you wanted to or you can just um, leave it plain. I'm going to leave it plain. I'm just going to apply for my adhesive onto my piece. I've already rounded my corners and then I'm just going to lay this down and I'm going to burnish it really well. Now, this is the piece that I'm doing right here. Okay, so that sounds really good. So now what we're going to do is work on this top piece. And I want to make sure I get it in the in view for you guys. And that's those off kilter pockets. So basically, my bottom piece, this piece right here, becomes a pocket. And I made it the width of the chipboard, which is five and a quarter. The next piece I'm laying at an angle. And then the third piece. I'm going to also lay it at an angle so that all the sides match up flush to my five and a quarter wide piece of chipboard. So for, for tutorial purposes, I've tacked this side down. You can decide if you want to put some notches for your pockets. I'm gonna go ahead and do one here. So that you can see there's a pocket there, right? And then what you can do is trim off so that you're square, because you're going to have to end up being square anyway. Trim off that. And then you're going to put down the next piece. Okay, you want to glue that down. So you essentially have this piece going off kilter here. If you'd like if you don't like that that look you can mat your paper so you don't have this um, angled piece sticking out here but I kind of think that's fun right so you can actually cut this straight off and then you have this extra piece here but I'm gonna go ahead and take um, my trimmer. I'm going to trim this one piece down. I've already made a mark on it and you're going to want to do the same. This is totally your design so you can make it whatever you want to. I'm just showing you what the options are here and I like that distressed look of the paper to match the same sides. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some adhesive and we're going to glue all three po all three pocket edges together once we have them aligned. So I'm going to take some adhesive and I'm going to just add some here. And one good thing about liquid glue is you do have a bit of wiggle room um, to line up <clears throat> your glued edges. Okay so that's that side and then we're going to take and flip it over and do the same thing. We want to make sure we have adhesive on all, all three of our pockets just the corner edges 
kind of like the way that looks there and then the next thing we're going to do is you can notch up here if you want and here's something else I really like doing I like putting my notches in different different locations I don't like to keep it matchy matchy so I am going to off center a notch here and you know what I think I'm yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like that because then if I can get some photo mats here or tags you have that let me go over here and you have this one which you can do like this and then you have space to even do another one and I don't know if I did a third tag and you have space to put another tag here so there's your three tags right right there so I think it's really fun when you do something um, different in a, as far as a pocket is concerned and if you want you could take your corner rounder and round that one pocket since we have a, a rounded corner theme you can take and round that that uh, corner edge I think that looks really nice all right so then what you want to do is get another piece of paper whatever you choose and I might go with this polka dot and you want to and you want to trim out that one side right you want to trim out that top so that when you put your tag in you won't see this chipboard so let me trim up that piece a little bit So that's what I'm trying to put together right here. Let's see if I just want to do a layout here. What you don't want to see is that notched on that paper. So I'll bring it up a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and glue this piece down here. And it is the width of the chipboard which is five and a quarter by however deep you want it and this is just a little scrap piece I had so I'm just going to adhere that down and burnish it really well this is a long flap so I'm not getting it all on the camera here but I hope you guys can see it so now we have our pocket unit and you only want to put um, glue adhesive on the perimeter of that because then you won't be able to use the middle pocket or the side pocket, the top pocket. So you only want adhesive on the perimeter of this piece. And then you want to make sure you just don't see chipboard down there on that top section. So you want to line this up with the edges. We'll trim off anything that looks like it's hanging over. So don't worry about that. Just make sure you're on the sides. And you're going to burnish those sides really well. I think that looks great. And then if we do have any excess paper hanging over, we can trim that off with our um, scissors or our craft, craft knife, which I do have. I just want to clean that up a little bit. Okay, so there is our inside pocket. With our, um, let me put the little one up here. Do this one like this. See how it goes all the way down there? And then you have this one right here. 
So really super cool and fun. Really, really like that. Or you can arrange them however you want to arrange them on there. But I, I think it's really cool. You've got three pockets, lots of real estate to tuck things away up in this upper pocket um, area. All right, and let's go ahead and put our, so we'll see how that looks. We're gonna go ahead and put our two tags in here. On this version of the holder, I made the pocket flaps a little wider than the um, first one. So then we wanna take our little element, whichever one you cho chose, and we wanna put that on the flap here. So you're going to take your adhesive and you're going to coat both sides. And then you just want to put that wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to slide mine down a little bit. Don't want it to hang out too much. This is just however you wish to do it. And then it's time for us to adhere our notepad to our base. And I think for this, I am going to use my score tape. For this pad has a coating on it. If your pad just has plain paper and not a coating, you can probably use wet glue, um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and use this score tape. I really want it to be stuck on. Well, I'm gonna leave the magnet on because it really doesn't distract from laying down the notepad. But I am gonna put a lot of adhesive on, so. I really want that pad to be stuck down there. And one more piece. Now, if you want the pad to be removable, all you would need to do is create a little band to go across here with some of your uh, cardstock and then you can slide the, the flap over. If you do that, I would advise that you go ahead and cover this piece or paint the whole, whole section black. Add your strip on there, and then you can slip the pad right in there. But for purposes of, actually, you know what? Yeah, for purposes of this tutorial, I am going to go ahead and permanently adhere mine down. Because the other thing you can do is once you get to the bottom of this notepad, you can just pull, um, you can just add another pad right on top of it. You know, that very last card, leave it there. So you want to line up your edges of your notepad. Once you get it down, just pull it up and burnish, burnish, burnish everything really well. And then this goes here, this goes here. We're almost there. This goes like this. I'm gonna flap that down like that. Nice and secure. Okay. And so now what we wanna do is I did a photo mat here. So you can take some photo corners, and let me cut this down a little bit because this currently is too tall. So I have four. So let's cut, cut it down to a four by six photo mat. And then you can take some photo corners, which I do have somewhere around here. And take some photo corners and 
add them to the mat. That way you can put a nice photo or the person could put a photo in there and it's removable and you have a mat. Just want to line it up before you press down and secure them. So there's your photo mat. All right. You can clean up a little bit here. So there is your flap, and then this will go up, and this will come in. And so we want to attach our ribbon, okay? So to do that, there's a couple of things you could do. You could put your ribbon on before you put the back piece on, or if you don't really mind, and I like the pop of color, you can put... I forgot a step. I forgot our strips here. We need to put our strips on our spines. So let's go ahead and do that. Add some adhesive. spine just going to add some adhesive on there and then center it on the spine again this paper is just absolutely gorgeous so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have enough to tie a bow around and we're going to secure the ribbon on the back with some adhesive or score tape. So you're just going to do a kind of like a test bow, right? Make sure you have enough ribbon and I do. So then what you want to just do is line up your ribbon on that back and I honestly just take a piece of, of score tape, you can use a strong adhesive and I lay it on that center where I'm going to put the ribbon and I burnish it down onto my that cover. And then you can pull it up and lay that ribbon right down the center there and burnish it really well. And then we can tie our closure, our ribbon closure. seem to tie a bow today. Innkeeper Tails has as long as you want. I do reserve a pair of scissors just to cut ribbon. These are my um, ribbon cutting scissors. They're nice and sharp and I love having a dedicated pair, a pair of scissors for ribbon cutting. 
and there you have it. You have your Flight 2715 notepad holder. I really, really love the way this one turned out. It's almost like the original, not, not quite. But I really like the way this turns out. And your receiver will open it up. And he or she can open the flap. They have two pockets here. And a photo mat. There's their notepad. And then they have the additional pockets up top to store items, receipts, keepsakes. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really enjoyed putting it together for you. And again, if you haven't had an opportunity to purchase Flight 2715 from Paper Phenomena, if it's available, go and grab yourself a pack. It, you really will see how gorgeous these papers are when you receive them. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.